Alright guys, so in this video I'm gonna play a little bit with JavaScript animation and I have a quick demo here, it's a web page with three sections the first section is the header section uh, it's where you see bicode media and then below this header section I have another section uh, which is a background image and then I have another image which is a ball jumping on the field while I'm uh, scrolling down and then the last section is the photo section so if I gonna if I scroll back up, the ball is gonna jump backwards. All right, so this is what I'm gonna build in this video. There's gonna be a link in the description from where you can grab the source code. Uh, you can also follow along with me because because I'm gonna write everything from scratch. So that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I have three files here. I have index.html. And I import here the style CSS file and the app.js file. So here's my app.js. Let me just switch them style CSS and app.js. I also have a folder with my images. So there's the background image and the uh, actual ball. All right, this is a PNG, a transparent background. Uh, and this is just a full width, you know, background image. All right. Um, so I'm gonna start with index.html, but before I do that, we want to, I want to import some uh, JavaScript libraries. So the first one is going to be scroll magic uh, min.js library. Uh, this is we will need this for for the scrolling animation. So just uh, click on copy script tag. I'll copy this one, and I will paste it here like this. The second one is dbag add indicators.js so it should be somewhere here dbag add indicators I'll paste it here the third one is animation gsap so let's see animation gsap paste it here we will also have twin light twin light uh, let's see twin light should be on this other link I'm gonna leave these links in the description guys okay twin light uh, it's here it's not here but you can play around with these versions here so I'm just gonna pick the latest latest twin light here we go so this is the twin light mean JS I'll copy it I will paste it here and the next one is timeline light min js timeline timeline light min js paste this one in here too uh, we will need the css plugin so let's see where is the css plugin we'll paste it here and we will also need the bizarre plugin so where is here we go this one and this is the last one <laughs> we have we have a lot of libraries for a uh, small animation but uh, we definitely need all of them because uh, otherwise it's not gonna work okay so um, all right now above our scripts here I'm gonna add a few sections so the first one is gonna be the header And here I'm gonna have an H1, which is gonna be Vicode Media. We'll have the second one, uh, section class. And the class is going to be animation. All right, and here I'm gonna have an image tag, IMG class ball. And the source is going to IMG folder and img.png does the ball and there's gonna be an alt tag I'll just put img and then the third section which is the footer section and here I'll put h1 footer in this way all right I'm gonna save it I will open it with live server if you don't have live server uh, when your um, VS code it just uh, go to extensions type in here live server you're gonna install this and then after that in your index HTML just right click 
and open with live server and this is going to open up a new tab in your browser so this is uh, uh you'll have like a whenever you make changes uh, the page is gonna you know reload by itself okay so uh, now i'm just gonna go ahead and add some styling here i'll add some css styling for uh by default so margin zero padding zero um, box sizing uh, border box and then here I'm gonna add some styling for the header and for the footer and I'm gonna put height 100bh just to make it the screen size and then display flex and then justify content center and align item center as well and then here I'm going to have header h1 tag and I will make it a little bigger so it's going to be font size 50 pixel and then I'm going to add some styling for the animation section because I have to add the uh, background uh, image and height height is going to be 100 vh uh, background image so the image is going to be in img folder slash background.jpg and the background repeat it's gonna be no repeat and the background position let's make it center and position is going to be a relative and overflow is going to be hidden because our ball in demo it went you know all over the screen so we don't want to see it you know behind the screen okay so overflow is going to be hidden now let's add a little bit of styling for the ball uh, we will have a height of 70 pixels and then this is going to be position absolute and top I want to do 50% and left 0 so if I save it now and I'm going back here's what I have first section the second section actually the background image is not uh, let's see Okay, for some reason the animation, like the background image, not working. Back background. Well, that's because I forgot to add the URL here. So let's go back. Okay, now it works fine. We have the ball here, we have the background here. And we have the footer below. So now let's go ahead and add some JavaScript. So I'm going to the app.js file and I'm going to start with a variable. So I'm going to have const flight path. Let's say flight path does the path like the ball is kind of flying. So we'll just put flight path and then the, the function will have a, a curviness uh, parameter. A curviness parameter is kind of make it, it kind of makes it smooth, you know, whenever it jumps, whenever it flies. You can have whatever you want here. Uh, just put this ball just an example, but I will show you how this. Uh, so we have curviness. I'm gonna put it 0 0.2 in my case, but we will play it around. I will show you uh, what that exactly means. And then we have auto rotate. Make it true. That's for the ball to rotate a little bit whenever it's changing the position. And then we have the values. And here we will have a few objects. And the values are actually the, the dots where the ball on its, uh, let's go back, where the ball um, on its path is changing the position, either low or you know left, right, top, bottom. So here we will have the first x which is going to be a hundred that's the first point and y minus 30 
and the second one is going to be 300 and here I'm gonna have 90 so if I save it that's not, not nothing's gonna happen because we didn't fire this yet but um, let's see here just make sure this coordinates okay all right let's see how this is gonna work just with two kind of like points so just to make this uh, fire we will need to have another const and we will have tweet and we will assign a new object which is timeline light like this make sure you have equal sign here timeline light and then here we use the tweet object and we call the add method and in this method we add the twin light so we have twin light twin light 2 and here we add the image class which in our case is ball like this here's one and then here we will have a few more parameters so the, the, this other parameter is desired this is like um it's kind of the, the let's 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 see here desire just making sure i add it here and i don't misspell it desire so the desire is gonna be the f flight path it's gonna get this data from here and it's gonna fire it on the screen so we have flight path and then below we have easy so we kind of put the the animation type so we have power one dot easy in out easy in out like this so if i save it now and go back and uh, uh, to the page uh, nothing happens probably because i have okay invalid bizarre twin volley object object i misspelled something here let's see i was afraid to misspell this and i actually misspelled it, it needs to be desire like this so if i go back now okay so it moves so if i refresh it now you see how the ball is moving okay and it's kind of like changing the position so if i were to put here for example one and if i would refresh oops it kind of goes it doesn't go as you know 0 0.2 it goes uh, one goes a lot smoother than 0 0.2 so so pay attention 0 0.2 if i refresh it with 0 0.2 it goes kind of faster and here the auto rotate if i put false the ball is not gonna rotate look you see it doesn't rotate so that's what these two parameters do um, and now I just want to add more uh, points here just to make it like it it jumps on the field so uh, to do that I'm just gonna throw some some more lines here like this so I have first starts 100 500 uh, and so on and until the last point i just wanted to go off the the window so that's why the window dot inner width which is gonna go off and y is minus 30 so if i save it now like this and go back here if i refresh i will see how it went off okay the next uh next thing is i want to fire this animation only whenever i get to this point you know whenever i scroll down and i get to this point here so in order for me to do that, I will have to um, I will have to add a controller uh, method here. So I'm gonna have another variable which is gonna be controller. Controller, and I will assign a new object which is going to be scroll magic dot controller. That's the method I'm assigning. And then here I'm going to have another const, which is going to be sin. 
and here I'm assigning a new object which is going to be the scroll magic dot scene method so scroll magic dot scene method and here I'm gonna have curly brackets and here I'm gonna have a few parameters so the first one is gonna be the the, the trigger element this is this is gonna be I'm gonna have tr a trigger on the page so trigger element and the trigger element is going to be the ball class and then the duration is going to be 1500 and then the trigger hook I'll put 0 trigger hook 0 okay so uh, and then here I will have a few more functions uh, which is going to be set tween so actually here I misspelled it, it needs to be tween like this because I'm trying to use it with this object so and then here we'll, I'm gonna have set tween I'll grab the tween object kind of thing with this method with the animation all this stuff and after this uh, set pin actually no I'll, I'll just add this stuff to controller first add to controller like this so let's see what we've got now on the page if I refresh make sure I don't have any errors it doesn't really want to work here let, let's uh, I'm gonna add then let me just add the indicator so add indicators like this all right so we have the trigger here and we have the start here I don't know if you see it we have indicator start here now I want to fire this I want to fire this animation whenever it hits whenever it hits the trigger here so whenever it hits here I want this to start you know jumping here and I also want it want to be able to stay on the same section until the animation is over so in order for me to do that I should add right below here set pin to animation that's the section okay so this is good here and actually by the way here the trigger element needs to be the animation section as well that's why I didn't work whenever I saved it because I wanted to show you how it would work without without me adding this stuff from here but anyways now it's supposed to work the way I expect it to so if I refresh and scroll down you can see the ball is jumping and this the end goes up and once the end hits the up trigger it's it's done that's when the next section is crawling all right all right that's it for this uh, video guys hope you liked it if you have any questions leave them in the comments uh thank you for watching like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe for my channel and i'll see you in the next video